And welcome, everybody, to the TMI Weird Kids Gaming Podcast. I'm your host, Cora, aka Spasmic Gamer. Hello. I am here with Will! Hi, I'm Will. And as you can tell, we are missing Darian again. Still. Still Sweet. missing Darian, but she'll be coming back on the next episode, hopefully, you know, as long as she's not too lazy. I mean, she did say she was coming back in January, so this is technically the final episode of the year. This is, uh, was, so today's the 31st of December. Can you guys believe it? I know. I can't believe we won't see you guys till next year. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> it's so it's, far away. Yeah. No, I mean, it's only like five hours. <laughs> Such a dork. <laughs> I know. Uh, Anna, how's things been going with you? Oh. That bad? Uh, yes and no. Hmm. You want to talk about it or no? I can't yet. I can't okay. talk about it because a certain person might hear me talk about it. And no, it's um. not Matt. Oh. Cheese me. All the cheese me. I know. Spill the tea. All the tea. We need more tea. I need more sugar. Oh, I recently discovered I like the unsweetened version of McDonald's uh, sweet tea. Congratulations. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is terrible. This is disgusting. But I always got the sweet version of it. Uh, and uh, when I was with my girlfriend at her sister's uh, high school graduation, mm-hmm. uh, we hit up McDonald's while we were waiting for them uh, to you know, finish doing errands and seeing other family members. And, uh, she was being a butt because I bought the food, you know, and I was like, here, you go get the drinks. He's like, no, you go get the drinks. Uh, even though I literally bought all the food, uh, for like me, her and, and our baby. And, uh, what happened is I was like, all right, well, I want to get myself some diet Coke be- or cause I like, Oh yeah. Diet Dr. Pepper. Cause I love that over diet Coke. Like it's the like superior diet soda. And, um, then I saw, it's like, oh yeah, she likes sweetened tea. So I looked at him like, well, I was going to get at the unsweetened version. And I just poured the whole thing full of unsweetened tea, brought it back to her. And I was like, here you go. And, you know, she was like, oh, thank you. She drank it. And then uh, she's like, you got the unsweetened one. I'm like, yep, this is why you shouldn't have let me done it. I told you I was going to do it, you know, because I'm a bit of an asshole. It's like, uh, hey, help me out a little bit. She's like, no. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to punish you now for being a brat. Uh, yeah, yeah. and then I drank it and I was like, oh, this isn't that, you know, this is, can't be that terrible. And I made a face. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, wait, this is actually good. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. I've gotten used to drinking, uh, tea that has no sugar in it because mm-hmm. I'm a weirdo. And so I was like, oh, actually this isn't terrible. You know, granted it's not, not good. You know, I, I still prefer to have sugar in my tea, but like I've built up a tolerance to drinking, uh, just straight bitter black tea like just throw them in the pot uh you know marinate them and basically what what is it it's like tea is in a drink it's a soup technically um that's the joke and i was like i just built up tolerance of that because i was just too lazy to put sugar in it uh and i liked it it was really good i mean i don't i don't like doubt that you can flavor like meats and stuff marinate it with tea I would actually like to see what green tea specifically does to, like, pork. Because green Um. tea is... It's a... uh, You know how they say that the more green tea you drink, the better your metabolism is? No, I heard that it affects cancer. Well, that too. It probably helps. I mean, it has a whole lot of, you know, health benefits. Mm -hmm. Um, But also, speaking of, like, things that probably cross... Go into other things... So I saw this TikTok like a while ago and was it boobs? no, it wasn't boobs, okay. but boobs. it was close. It was beans, beans, um, someone, beans. they were talking and they were just like coffee beans. I mean, coffee is just made from, you know, coffee beans. So what if we could make coffee from like pinto beans? I think they did that. They did do that. Yeah. Uh, I was like, oh, okay. Uh, but this was back like years ago when i didn't like coffee at all now as you get older it's like oh i like the smell of coffee i like the smell of the beans at the winco uh when i just get a nice whiff of them mm-hmm. although i think they changed out the area i'm not sure where the beans are at now i remember they used to be like um where like the uh, between the cereal and the meat 
like for the deli section. Uh, then they got they replaced that with beer, and I was like, oh, that's I I just thought of it right now. It's like yeah, coffee used to be right there, and you'd always smell it as you pass by. It's so good. Um, I'm more of a blonde roast kind of person. I don't like dark roast, oh, but I do like espresso. Um, granted, if it's mixed with like milk and a fuck ton of sugar. Mm-hmm. But I might be doing it wrong, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to get into aside from cake decorating and making bonbons, and then also trying to figure out espresso. Uh, what is it? Yeah, so um, I know I want to get a tiny whisk, though. Ever since I watched Bidging <laughs> Bidge- with Babish, it's like, oh, that's a cute little tiny, tiny whisk. <laughs> yeah, I want a tiny whisk just, just because of that, but I also keep finding weird and dumb shit on, on like uh, the internet. Uh, like, I was watching a video on, like, how to make cocktails that have no alcohol in them. And I saw a juicer I've never seen before. Because I'm used to, like, the um, the ones where, you know, it's, like, you put the, like, the lime or the lemon or whatever it is in, like, a, a half circle one. And then you mm-hmm. compress it with another half circle. Um, like, the regular ones. Like, the, the ones that are, like, a winch. Um, you squeeze them. Yeah. Uh, but I found, like, a better version of that one. That's, like, like $20, 25 but it's like it looks way more meatier than the other one. I'm like, oh my goodness, this actually looks really fucking cool. Um, like it looks like it's like more square at the end, and it just gets more of the juice out than like the other one uh, that I've seen before does. I'm like, that's cool. I want to learn how to do that. So I I already add all that stuff to my wish list, which I'm pretty sure is sitting like well over a thousand things I want to own and buy. Um, I was like just random dumb shit. Uh, like, I have several cocktail-making books on there. Even though I don't drink alcohol, I want to at least learn how to, to make that stuff. Because to me, that seems pretty cool. There are some people that they learn survival skills, and then there are other people that learn how to be a bartender. Yeah, it's like, I need to have more, not more hobbies, it's just like, I have a lot of free time, and I'm very smart. So it's like, oh, I could just pick this up and do it. Oh, look, I did it. Um, it's not difficult. And I'm like, oh, this is, you know, it's nice for me to have all this knowledge. So that way you'd be like, oh, because my girlfriend, she doesn't like drink um, in the normal sense. She'll like make herself like a like a cocktail or something. But she prefers more fruity stuff and it can't you can't taste the alcohol. Um, and she had made herself like uh, like some kind of like alcoholic drink last time. Uh, and she like barely drank like maybe like a few drinks of it. And it was like a lot of it left over. But she's not a super alcoholic person because she doesn't like smelling it from like someone's breath. Like that's the thing that she hates um, is like that physical smell of like the alcohol coming off of someone's breath when they talk to you. Uh, which is good that I don't drink like at all. Although the only thing I do prefer to drink is Pink Whitney because that shit's delicious. But I also mix it with, with pink lemonade and like um, pink uh, what is it, shaved ice. And I just make like a little thing out of that. It's so good. I could destroy like easily like three of those. It's so good. Well, I think the next thing I'm gonna get is more of that tequila, because I saw a video of how they make rock. Rock makes his um, French toast and apparently uses tequila in it, like a decent amount. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is interesting. He like he does tequila maple syrup, tequila butter, and like something else tequila related. Um, and it's like a giant square piece of brioche bread. Have you seen that? No, I, I actually haven't seen that. Oh, I saw it and I was like, like that is literally a, like a easily like a three, no, like a four inch cube of bread, uh, of brioche bread just turned into a, a French toast, just a whole block. And I'm like, well, yeah, well, I've seen I've him. seen other people that do it, but I haven't watched The Rock do it. Yeah, it's because of The Rock. Like, that's his thing. Like, that's like a special treat. I've also seen him, like, post a, 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 an Instagram video. Oh, not Instagram. Uh, yeah, no, an Instagram video. Like, long, long time ago of, like, him having a cheat day. And it was basically, like, three whole pizzas that were, like, extra large or large. Like, these things were, like, loaded with, like, all kinds of meat and cheese. And I'm like... Well, yeah, you're pretty huge. You got to maintain a lot of calories inside that body. Yeah, not only that, but, like, if there's meats on there, that's protein. Uh So, like, I mean, it works out. Yeah, I need to start getting back into working out. I'm just so lazy. 
Um, I actually started going to the gym. I know. Last I liked week. your TikTok video of you being on the ground dead, and I was like, "That's funny. That's relatable." <laughs> Dude, that's how I felt. And then when I got up, I had, like, bruises on my legs. I was like, eh. Well, yeah, I don't know why girls are more prone to getting uh, bruises. Uh, like, the joke is, it's like, how'd I get that one? Where'd that one come from? It's like, you just hit things and you just get injured. Um, I I don't know. You guys are just built different for some reason, which I find very interesting. Because I always slam into things that should hurt. And I don't say anything. But, like, I'll graze against something. I'll be like, ow. It's like, I, it's, like, weird for me. It's, like, always the opposite. Like, I will get, like punched in the face and i'll be like oh i got punched in the face but like i could like you know poke my finger and be like ow i poke my finger yeah it's you just weird. like fall out a two-story window and you're like you just shit. get up and yeah dust yourself off Hell and yeah. you're like what? but then as soon as you like step on a lego you're just ah call an ambulance yeah no that's how it is it's just weird how i'm like the opposite of that and it's oh it's been like that for for like since i can remember so basically forever where like i should say ow but I don't say ow, but something that like, oh, like a light pat on the back will be like, ow, that hurts. Um, although one of the worst places is like my lower back. If I, like I hate being touched there because it just mm-hmm. physically hurts because, you know, I have, you know, lower back pain, lower back injury from like four years now. Uh, four years, I think two months ago or this month. I can't remember when I got hired at the poultry factory for the slaughterhouse. Uh, but yeah, it's already been four years and I still have this and I'm like, damn, I need, if I lose weight, I'm pretty sure it would help out, but I'm just, I like food too much. I'm just too lazy. Well, the, uh, gym that I go to is here in my local town. I won't say which one. I'll but... say it. <laughs> just kidding. No. Dox you. Yes. <laughs> but, um, I mean, they're doing, it's like $25 a month. It's not too bad, but I would definitely love to invest in my own treadmill because that's all i do when i go to the gym i just go on the treadmill for an hour and then go home well as long as um, you're running you'll be good because it's a lot better uh, but you should also be running in a state of fear because that actually helps you burn more calories so you... yeah that, that's what i told my friend so my my i'm actually um going to the gym with one with one of my mods for my for my twitch channel and uh two other friends which, like, we all know each other in real life anyway. We all went to school together and stuff, so it Nerds. works out. Yeah, friends. Nerd. But, um, yeah, and, like, I told him, he was like, he's like, are you going to stream tonight? And I'm like, yeah, probably, like, some Dead by Daylight. He's like, oh, okay, burning calories now in the gym and <laughs> later on stream. Yeah. Uh, you just need to be in a state of, of fear, and that'll help you burn more calories, which is interesting. So, like, you have to be, like, it's hard, it would probably be hard to put yourself in that mindset of just being afraid, which will increase your heart rate already and increase the adrenaline. Um, but the, I know that um, gyms specifically, they plan their whole year around like the first month of January. Um, because that's usually people make those resolutions like, I'm going to go to the gym and then they get a gym membership and it's always packed. Then you go back like two, three months later and it's like pretty empty. Like that's... So... Yeah the promotion that the gym is having right now i guess they have like an enrollment fee but it's reduced to the low low price of 23 cents oh that's that 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 post was from you i remember like when me and my ex had went to accelerated fitness in reedley um there was a cancellation fee uh for it like we went for like once and then that was it and we never went again because we got super sore I also found out at that point uh, that I was actually fat because I couldn't do what I used to do, uh, which mm-hmm. sucked because I back when I was like in high school, I weighed like, you know, a, a scrawny 130, but I was able to squat like 240 pounds and um, was able to like lying down and do like 500 on my calves alone. It was like super easy. Um, never could do a bench press because I was never able to balance myself, but I'm pretty sure I could easily have just done a plate. Uh, with like basically noodle arms and then yeah that's about it but that was back when I was like work- doing football uh, but it was I always found it amazing how like a small person like me could like be doing double his weight squatting and almost four times his weight lying down on like one of those like leg lip- press machines and the reason is because it maxed out at 500 and I was like oh, okay I guess we'll just do 500 and so I just did 500 pound squats lying down 
Well, I mean, when you're in high school, you that's your prime. You know, you you are in kindergarten, grade school, elementary school, whatever, going playing outside during recess, and then when you get into middle school slash high school, generally that's when they start having you do like physical, you know, physical education PE. Mm-hmm. And so, like, unless you're not actually doing it. Or you don't go outside during recess, like you don't have any time to like put on a whole bunch of, you know. And then of course it depends on what you're eating for your lunches too. But then oh, like that's shit. also like that's also like when our um, our metabolism is like at the highest and um, and whatnot. So I mean, it makes sense why we're at our prime, you know, during like high school. Yeah. Um, I used to believe it or not, believe it or not, I used to weigh like one i think the the best weight air quotes best at the time um i used to weigh around like 120 130 Mm -hmm. but now i weigh i gained like 100 pounds now i weigh like 215 215 220 yeah no wonder you thick i am i save lives you are shorter than me so you're very thick uh but hashtag thick lives saves lives i hate how like in high school i was trying to like gain weight so badly but i could never cross 135 like that was my max and i'd always drop down to like 125 and maintain mm-hmm. around there uh now i'm like at pushing like 175 it's like man i can't even lose this weight but then again i'm not running for food because as you, when you get older food becomes easier to get you can just go buy food if you have money just go buy mcdonald's or something why why cook or why having to go and do extra things you're basically settling in you know, you go. You home. are. Yeah, I'm like. And Shit. like, it just it's just so much. Like you said, it's more easily accessible to do. Nobody. And then when we, especially in the state that we live in, like the physical state that we live in, we have to work full time jobs, mostly to like keep up with the. Um, it just left my brain. What's it called? The cost of living. I'll say rent. Living. Yeah close it's it's under that umbrella mm-hmm. the cost of living and so we don't have time to meal prep or cook our food you know or do anything it's and some people they have two part-time jobs one full-time job sometimes they might even need three jobs i know if i have a friend who had three part-time jobs just to make ends meet you know it's a lot of part-time it is i, so, I can never do that I, one job is enough for me then i have to manage <laughs> all of this which I've been taking a break because, you know, it's like, ah, I'm tired and, uh, you know, Darian's not here and we're not really discussing content right now. We're still working on that, which you still need to get back to me, but you have until next week anyway uh, to yes. figure out what kind of videos we're going to make, what games I need to buy you guys, the stuff we're going to film for the channel. We're working on a lot of shit right now because there's a lot of games I'm interested in and I'm seeing what they're interested in. Darian's already shoot me like five games that she's interested in already. So we'll discuss mm-hmm. that the next time when she's available. We'll just talk about the ones, and then we'll just divvy up who gets what. Um, I'm also trying to figure out if I need to, like, drop by and, you know, basically sit and record with you guys and do a Let's Watch um, with those specific games. That way it doesn't bog down your system and you end up having, like, drop frames or the video crashes uh, for the, the game itself as well. Uh, yeah, there yeah. are a lot of things on the back burner right now. And that's just um, for j- January. Yeah. We haven't like, talked about February yet. Well, so February, you're going to be seeing a little bit of different of me because uh, my Twitch channel, they they raise the money. And so you're going to be dealing with Cat Girl Spaz for the month of February. Ulu. Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so enthusiastic. Mm-hmm. Um. So there's that. Um, Earn our that roommate. Money. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't about the money, um, our roommate is supposed to be moving out next week. Oh, or te- it, it, this this coming week. Is it Sean's girlfriend still? Yes. Oh, okay. Is she not moving in with Sean or what? Nope. Why? I find that weird. Um, I can't discuss it. Okay, well I'll just talk about it. I <laughs> would love. <laughs> I'll do, I can't. I'll talk about it from over here. <laughs> We we can talk about it like in a month or two. Oh okay, all right. We'll talk about it in a month or two. Okay. All right. Someone someone put that in the put in the chat. Put a pin in it. No, actually, put it in the chat. We'll forget. Yeah, I I will forget. Uh, um, but yeah. So there's that. Um, 
you know, and then there's the chance that, like, home stuff could be changing because uh, Matt's mom is probably, is, might, strongly might uh, be moving back in with us. So, rearranging some stuff. Um, there's just a lot of stuff on the back burner right now. A lot of projects, a lot of things. There we go. <gasps> Yay, in-laws. Yay. I mean... She- She's okay, and it, and she'd only be here on the weekends, so it's not that bad. Wait, how is she moving in and only being on the weekends? Well, like, she wants her room back. Oh. And we are currently sleeping in her room. Oh, tell her fuck off. No. Oh, then you're not me. Never mind. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not. You're Will. Yeah. Hi, you're Will. I'm Will. I'm the asshole. It's like, I want my own room after. You fucking pay the rent? Is your name on the lease? You're going over there. You're sleeping on the sofa. Fuck off. You're sleeping on the sofa. I want everything cleaned and finished by the time I get home. It's like I am not a dictatorship, but if I'm paying for something, it's mine. It is, I will share it with you, but it's mine. I'm renting this uh, house, this apartment. It is mine. You live in it. That is the rule. That means you got to be polite, nice, and leave me the fuck alone. I don't like I don't like talking to people. I don't like dealing with people. I like having my own room, my own space. Uh, of course, my girlfriend was here. She became railed, like, you know, constantly. Not talk, Whoa. Not talk, no, I'm just kidding. I, <laughs> I hate how much of a libido I have. I swear. It sucks. I remember back then. It's like. Um, oh, you mean how, like, active you want to be? I, yes. I'm, like, easily a 9 out of 10. Maybe. Uh, the only reason I'm not a 10 out of 10 is I have to need to eat. I need to drink. And I also have to go to work. <laughs> and, you know, I always play games as well. But, like, easily 9 out of 10. In terms of, like, scale. I was like, you know what? I never actually thought of a number, but, like, it is... Probably the reason why I'm going to end up dying is because, I like, I am, like, way too active. And I always make the joke to her. It's like, hey, if we ever have, like, a second girlfriend, at least that way you could split the load. <laughs> that way you could, like, have a day off. And she can... <laughs> what? That's the only reason. It's like, you know, no, like... No, get it? Split the load? Yeah, I know. I get it. <laughs> but, like, there's no way that they're both not going to want to join in uh, if the other one is, uh, you know, clearly showing uh, that they're having a good time. And I'm like, I mean, I am I could do it. I can manage. <laughs> one, I, I remember, and this is, like, going, like, way back. Um, I might have to bring this up again with D- when Darian's uh, back on. But, mm-hmm. like, because uh, she was working for the military. Um, they had... And this is, I think, when I lo- no. This is when I still worked at the casino, and I. This is like probably like a month into our relationship. Um, is that she stopped by uh, Ruben's place when we were living there, and uh, because she was scheduled to be there at the base for uh, a, a determined amount of time, because they were wondering if they were going to be going to war, and so she needed to prep the soldiers. But it turns out they weren't going to, so they uh, relieved them and sent them home, and she was. She had told her family she would be gone for like this many days, and then she came to my place and we spent three days together at uh, Ruben's place, and we just fucked all the time, like easily like two times a day. And I'm like, this is enough. I like this. This is enough for me. Like I am having a great time. Uh, once I fell asleep, uh, when we were going to, because I was just so fucking tired from work, because at at the casino, uh, I was doing like ten hour days and I was standing most of the time. Just walking around constantly like I was easily like doing like five six miles a day in like a small like 20 like foot area like I was constantly hustling around and the only break you ever got was being on the um the register uh but you know people didn't want to work the line constantly so then I would have to get off the register and work the line and make coffees from Starbucks and all that stuff uh which sucked um but I mean I know how to make several drinks easily because I was there for like 18 months, just constantly working on things. Um, but yeah, like uh, I fell asleep once. Then she woke me up the next day. It's like, yeah, you fell asleep. We're going to do it. And uh, you fell asleep. And I don't wake you up. So we fucked right there immediately. And then <laughs> we, again, I fell asleep the next day or that same day when I got off work. But she woke me up and that was a mistake. But then I fucked the shit out of her again. <laughs> That's just how I was. I was just that crazy. And then the only reason, like, we took a break for, like, a day, like, instead of doing it twice, only doing it once, it's because my legs are sore from both fucking and, and working at work and basically running around constantly. It's like, oh, man, my legs are sore. I actually can't do it more than once today. Damn. 
so we just took that one off for that night or that morning can't remember but yeah no i am incredibly horny constantly it sucks i just i hear and see and smell all the tears of all the the single people like oh i only had sex one time today oh yeah i know it's uh, <laughs> It always me. That's why it's like I keep telling her. It's like you're in danger. We live in the same house together. And we're married. You're gonna be in danger. It's gonna be like on the table, in the kitchen, in a car, in the garage. It's like there will be no place where I will not have fucked her. I will. Every I have make that a goal. That is a goal for every me. Every time you invite your friends over, you're just like, "Yep, we did it right there." Yeah. And they try to sit somewhere else. You're like, "Nope, there too." And it's like. And then like, and then they like light. go to go to eat somewhere. And just like, and they just see you like what? Oh, oh, nothing. No, it is. Was a... her ass right here? No, my ass was. No, it's not. That. I mean, I don't know. Oh, it's like legitimately that's like a thing for me. It's like I have to fuck her in like every single room of the house. Like I don't know why. It's just the thing I've always had for like a long time. It's like you know if it's my place, fuck anywhere. You know. Fuck I the... think it's your own way of like marking your territory. I would. I didn't want to say it, but yeah, it's kind of a way. It's like, oh, you know, you have your like your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, your your uh, hallway, your bath. Yeah, uh, I think it's the bathroom. Uh, but like you got all those places. Like you gotta have sex at least once on there. Like put her on a counter, uh, or like do it in the bathtub. You know, or just like you know, do it in the living room on the sofa, stuff like that. Uh, we we had when we were first dating, we absolutely fucked in the car at least like three times. It was awesome. I'd never done that before. <laughs> it was so cool. Uh, just trying not to get caught and everything. Uh, it was great. I loved it. But yeah, no, and that was like days in a row we were doing that too, uh, where I would just wait for her after work, or she'd wait for me for like a little bit, and then we'd just go like have some fun together. So yeah, super super horny. I mean, I, I'm, like, way too horny for her. Uh, I think I told the story, but, like, when there was one point when we were, like, at a hotel, and, like, we were going for, like, 30 minutes, and she said she was tired, and she told me she's not used to guys lasting longer than 30 minutes. Uh, okay, we talked about that, about yeah. lasting, I think. Yeah. That's too long. 30 minutes? That's too long. No, I go for like an hour, easy, maybe an hour and a That's half. That's way too long. But it's not constant railing; it's mostly like fingering. That's too long. <laughs> it is not too long. My, uh, my That's way too long. When my when my record with my ex is like fifteen in a row for her before we even have sex, it's like I gotta break 15 that. Fifteen what? Fifteen orgasms. That's too much. <laughs> she was like, "I need to drink water." <laughs> Um, that's all she she needs jesus oh my yeah, god yeah and, and then she walks funny at the casino and people wondered what happened to her if she was okay and she's like I, you are never doing that to me again i'm like okay so then i just limit to 10 before we didn't have sex but yeah no like that we is settled for 10 we settled for 10 but yeah no i have like that's why it's like for her like um i remember like when i first met her kid and this is like when we were at like moral bay um we were at a hotel at, like uh by the end of it, and this she never drinks water. I had a half a gallon bottle. She drank like a decent amount of that when she was finished. And I was like, "Oh, you actually need water." She's like, "Yeah, I actually need water." And she just drank a good amount of it. I was like, "Oh, I good. I did good. <laughs> I, did, I, mean, I did good." Okay, so if, instead of going to the gym for your New Year's resolution, you need to just have your girlfriend over so you guys can exercise together. Yeah, it's awesome. You save money. No, I still want to buy that stuff. I still want to get at least a pull-up bar, um, a squat, and then a, um, uh, what is it? This thing for the bench pressing? Whatever that's called. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Like but I, you... I need that set. Like those well, things. but I mean, you'll save money every month versus like buying something to own it. Yeah, but I would rather own it because I'm gonna take that with me for the rest of my life. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's so much better to buy it and own oh, that you're saying it is the, to... the opposite. You made you, you said no. it all wrong. You were like, like oh, said, it's better I'm, to do I'm this tired. than to own it. I'm like, well, isn't it better to own it just than to do this? It's like, you, yeah, you jumbled your words. I was confused. I did. But I um, know. I do that to people. Yeah, that's why I was it like, oh, I, I can't wait to have that. Um, 
Like, no, uh, it's better to own it so you don't have to pay the place that, you know, you're renting it from. Yeah, I mean, you know, because then you also have to account for the travel time, the gas um, afterwards. And you're going to be out and about, so you want to go and eat something unhealthy uh, because you, you'll treat yourself. Uh, but if you're, like, home and you're working out and all that stuff, you're saving gas. You're saving all the time it takes you to just drive to the gym and back uh, and having to wait for someone to get off the machine so you can use it and wipe it down and all that stuff. Uh, while they're leaking, like, you know, the the bars and the dumbbells and everything. Be like, this is mine. And they just start licking it for some reason. Um, <laughs> uh, or then you'd be like, oh, man, I worked out hard. Time to go get myself, like, a, a Big Mac and a large fry and all this stuff. And it's like, dude, you just, like, ruined all your workout right there. That's what, uh, like, when I was, like, running, I did it, like, in calorie count. It's like, all right, well, I have to eat this many cal or burn this many calories before I can have, like, this one snack uh, to even it out. Because you got to be at a calorie deficit, but you got to be at a calorie deficit for like months before you even start seeing a result. Because yeah, um, that was that was me earlier this week. I started going to the gym, and I think after uh, day two of going to the gym, Matt brought brought me a donut. Well, half it. I did. It was a well. It was a maple bar, like a maple bar with uh, bacon on it. Mm, ooh. Yeah. So it had protein, but. <laughs> But I was like, I asked Google, I was just like, how, how many calories and 300 and I think it was like 364 calories or 346, something like that. So I broke it in half and I'm like, okay, I have to at least, you know, a hundred and something calories. And then I actually burned 300 calories. So I was like, I'm gonna go get that donut. Well, don't eat the whole thing. You know, <laughs> like always like have it. And like, it, it, it takes me like a while to eat something like i had bought a like one of those like little chocolate cakes you get at walmart like the single uh slices it took me like four days to eat that because i would only limit myself to like a bite of it a day and that was it or maybe two bites but i wouldn't like i know i could sit there and eat the whole thing at once but i forced myself to not eat the whole thing you know relatively quickly and spread yeah. it out same thing at winco it's um I buy like the little gummies they make, um, like either like the the gummy bears or the gummy worms, and like I'll limit myself to like a handful of them at a time, just to like make it last like a uh, week, two, three weeks uh, of that one thing, because uh, I'm very bad at, at sweets. Like I'll always have like a Twinkie a day or something. Like I'll just like oh eat Twinkie, that's tomorrow eat Twinkie. Oh I'm hungry eat Twinkie. It's just like I'll eat like a single pack of snacks and I'll just eat the whole thing, and I'll just limit myself to just one a day. Instead of, like, eating, like, several times a day. Because I've done that before. Yeah, I'm trying to be better about, you know, limiting my my intake of stuff. Um, I will admit, though, I, I, did get a li I did get the munchies the other day. But I had healthy snacks. I had, um, I, so I, I bought it from Small Smart, uh, this Quest protein uh, bag of chips. And I thought that they would, the bag, I thought the bag would be bigger, but it was only like one of those kind of like snack size bags. Eat an apple. Okay. Yeah. I could have eaten an apple, but I wanted chips. Eat an apple. I wanted chips. Eat the chips after you eat the apple. Cause the only reason you want the chips is because you're bored. No. And you want to snack on something. So, so <laughs> eat did. an apple. If you can't eat an apple, then uh, you're not hungry. Well, I didn't eat the apple because, one, we didn't have apples. Two, I bought bananas for that exact logic. They gave me the greenest bananas I've ever owned. Uh -huh. I don't buy green bananas. And so I, I, I get them when they're, like, yellow starting to... They're, um, when they're, like, barely green starting to turn yellow. Oh, I, buy, yeah. I don't buy them super green. I, I buy them, like, around like you do. Because it takes me, like, a week to eat them all. And by the time I'm getting to them, they're already like, starting to turn brown or black. Uh, mm -hmm. like I have like just a banana day. So I'm like, all right, well, it'll take me this many days because I am buying this many bananas. So I need to like space it out, um, a lot. I've eaten one green banana before and it was like horrible tasting. Like it tasted so bad when it was ripe. I mean, it's not like bad. It's just, I want there to be a little bit of sugar development in the, I know. Cause like I should, okay. I should probably clarify. I got it from, uh, from pickup. So, like, you know, you go on the app and you, like... Oh, okay, like, input... Instacart, stuff like that. Yeah. 
But, you know, instead of having it delivered, I went to the store to go pick it up and stuff. So they gave me the, the green bananas. That's probably what they just had, though, because they I it was probably the day or the night before they got their uh, their shipment in mm-hmm. and everything. Um, but Matt does have a point. When they're really green, they don't have as many developed sugars, so it's technically better, but I still want a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, and that's what your husband's for. And I've been trying to, like, get better at... Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. Move on. What? What? <laughs> and so, like, in my cooking, I've been also trying to, like, include my protein powder. Um, like, I made oatmeal this morning, yeah. and I was like, well, this is probably the only thing I'm going to eat for a while. Gross. So I included, like, a half a scoop. But I also put, like, a little bit of brown sugar in it. It's still gross. So how is that gross? I fucking hate, pro- I hate oatmeal. Oh. I, I hate oatmeal. I hate porridge. I think my girlfriend likes oatmeal. I'm like, this is disgusting. I have to learn how to eat different things because of her. I need to learn how to eat oatmeal, which I find com- completely revolting. I need to learn how to eat pumpkin flavored shit, including pumpkin pie, which is also revolting to me. It's like, and like, I think maybe like mayonnaise or something. I don't know. But like, there is some shit where like, the thought physically makes me want to vomit. Like, that's how much you I don't physically... don't like mayonnaise? I don't like... There are some things I physically will just vomit from. Oatmeal and pumpkin... Oatmeal is number one. Pumpkin pie is on the list. Like, I will eat it and be like, this is horrible. Why am I doing this to myself? Oh, yeah, because I love somebody. And then mayonnaise is like, I will just scrape it off of the... Um, if I have a napkin, like, I'll scrape it off of a chicken burger. Uh, but if mm-hmm. I don't, I'll just, like, throw ketchup on it and eat it like that. And at least it'll be fry sauce. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I I love mayonnaise. Um, like mayonnaise. I need to make that aioli stuff. Yes, you do. Ao. Oh, that'd be that'd be good. Yeah. But no, like mayonnaise is a good condiment. I like it. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, like, so I'm trying to be better. Part of my you know New Year's resolution, also because you know for charity and stuff, I promised I would walk a hundred. No, not a hundred. Wow, backwards, Cora. Two miles for every hundred dollars raised, and they raised three hundred dollars. So I have to walk six miles, which I already accomplished. But I mean, I've, I when okay. So I was on the treadmill, and I like, I like numbers that end in five and zeros. Oh, like I'm the type of person like when I turn the volume down on the television, I turn it down in increments of five. Mm, I just turn it down till I think it's comfortable. I'm a normal well, I person. Tr- <laughs> I mean, I do that too, but I try to get it not. like in increments of five. Well, so, you know, you I'll be like 15. Nah, I'll go up to 20. Okay. And then I'll settle for like 18 because it's closer to, it's close to 20. But anyway, so, um, I was on the treadmill and I was like, Oh, I'm almost done. And it was, I had like, I was getting ready to do the cool down stage. Cause I had walked for like my 60 minutes, but then, um, my calories, you know, it estimates how many calories you've burned on the treadmill. And it was like 382 or 383. And I'm like, no, I want that 400. So I stayed on the treadmill until I got 400 calories. Well, that's good. I know I want to buy a treadmill, but I also want to buy like the small ones that literally can slide under your bed. Mm-hmm. Like I want to get that one. It's like, I think $600 for that. But like, it's... I literally just need it just to walk in place because uh, I, I would prefer that. I, I would run a lot more every day if I didn't have to go outside and deal with people and have people look at me and be like, that person's running and exercising. Good for them. I'm like, don't look at me. Who are you? I don't know. McDonald's. And just start, like, just start going crazy. You know, it's like, I'm outside in public. The sun. Uh, you just, you know, I shouldn't be allowed to go outside. <laughs> just well, in general. <laughs> I'm too weird. Even my girlfriend. We can work on that for your New Year's resolution. No, we're not. I'm not. We're not gonna work on my weird. Yeah, we can. No, let's not. Let's just not work on the weird. Let's make myself more weird. It'll be fine. Let's just talk more about eating ass. Where's Darian? I need to make her uncomfortable. Okay, I think we're gonna stop there. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Um, but why don't you guys down in the comments below comment? Do you have a New Year's resolution? Are you someone who thinks that New Year's resolutions are stupid? And if so, you can tell us why down below change our minds. Yeah. There are some people who think that it's just another day. And I'm like, that make, you know, that kind of makes sense. You know, it's 
not a huge celebrating thing rain in the mirror to some people it's really oh it's just tomorrow you know it's just a, the first of the, of the next year it's not a huge big deal i mean i think it's you know it's i'm not gonna be like oh my gosh but i mean it's the one time that i get to be like see you next year ha. oh yeah you just constantly make those jokes <laughs> I was just I thinking, it. it's like, because uh, some people make the, the statement, it's like, you don't need uh, the next year to, to start, um, what's the thing? The the resolutions? The commitments? Uh, to do something else? You could do that any time of the year. You don't have to wait till like, an arbitrary day to do it. And I'm like, you know what? That kind of makes sense. You, instead of waiting until, like, the next year to start it, you could just do it that day. Or the, tomorrow. This is true. This is true. But, but... This is day one. I'm going to I'm going to use the, I'm going to follow the pact and have my New Year's resolution. It's actually a coincidence that I started around New Year's. But mm-hmm. let us know what you guys think down below. If you think they're stupid, if you think they're cool, if you have one yourself and let us know um in later episodes uh I had it in my brain. Oh yeah, if you stuck to it or not. I'll let you guys know. Because I'll probably, I hope I stick to it. You're I paid for two months. No, I hope not. I stick. I've, I, oh ready. my gosh, I have to. Okay, I have to. Every time I go to the gym, within two weeks I get sick. I have to break this cycle. This has happened to my, me in my life like three times. I have to break this cycle. No, oh, every time I buy something, I stop using it, which is weird. I hate that. That is weird. Like I'm paying actually. right now for a service for YouTube, our YouTube channel, and I haven't touched it in like a week. And I paid for like the month already. It's like, I should probably use this. But I've just been so lazy uh, about making videos and just so tired. It's like, uh, and it happens every single time. It's like, uh, I even paid for like Crunchyroll and whatnot. And I just started paying for Netflix again because Wednesday's so good. Wednesday was such a good show, dude. Like, we, okay, I haven't watched it. I don't want to watch it. It's what? too mainstream, but we can, we can talk about that next what? time. We can. We can even ask uh, Darian if she's watched it. How she is it mainstream? It. It's Tim Burr. It's so good. I actually cried at the end. I don't oh cry for goodness. shit. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for checking out the TMI podcast. Make sure you guys check out our other podcasts. They will be linked down in the description below and probably also somewhere else on the screen, but I don't know where. So I'll just say right there. Yep. You got a baby right there. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Uh, We will see you guys next time. Hopefully Darian is with us. And if not, or well, actually, I hope she is because then she can tell us some awesome stories where she may have even encountered you guys out being crazy in retail. Yeah. Do you have any any final thoughts? What month and a half she's been gone? Yes. She's been gone since like uh, Thanksgiving. Yes, she has. So she better have some fucking stories. Do you have any last last minute thoughts? Um, wash your ass to forget it. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody.